Hello and welcome to the regional update from Asia for the month of September. This month, I will be highlighting the trend of regulators intensifying their scrutiny over big tech in the region. The concern of regulators over the monopoly of apps and their proprietary payment platforms have been growing and in many countries probes have been launched. In this context, South Korea has taken the lead. Earlier this month, the South Korean parliament approved a bill, the Telecom Business Act, that bans major app store operators like Apple and Google from facing developers to use their proprietary platform's online payment system. Developers now will be able to direct their users to use alternate payment platforms and avoid paying Google and Apple a commission which is around 30% per transaction. South Korea has become the first country to impose such curbs on how Apple and Google should manage their apps. We can expect more countries to follow suit. In the meantime, in the Indian Regulator Competition Commission of India has decided to investigate if Apple has been abusing its dominant position over in-app payment issues. Further, there is a growing trend in the region of regulators intensifying their scrutiny over local internet giants in their countries. This trend was initiated by China, where the regulators have increased their stronghold over the local big tech companies such as Alibaba, Tencent, Didi, etc. Apart from announcing several policies to curb their growing power of technology companies, fines, the industry ministry recently in China recommended that Alibaba and Tencent group of companies should stop blocking each other's website links on their platforms. Going to the request, Tencent has announced that WeChat messaging app will now allow users to access external links. This month, South Korea has also followed suit. Regulators and politicians in South Korea have expressed concern over the growing power and valuation of internet companies such as Kakao, Naver and Coupang. In that context, lawmakers in South Korea have warned internet giants such as Kakao and Naver against abusing their market dominance for profits. We can expect to see this trend to continue. That's all from me for this month. Thank you.